Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. This is many a true daughter. Welcome to the grand finale of Subnautica, where, despite my best efforts, it would appear that we have to build a bloody prawn suit. I was starting to suspect we could just skip this entire thing, but no, seems like we do need a prawn suit. So, okay, let's build ourselves some oh, it's tiny. Okay, seriously, the game is so inconsistent with how big a thing you get per- Should I be going after that, by the way, is it? It appears to be sinking very fast. Except, hang on, then it just stopped. Is- Is it supposed to just stop at 44 meters? That feels weird, but okay. Right, how does this thing- Okay, now it's, um, now it's falling again. Good, 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 good. So, okay, 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 okay. What I appear to have is, oh, okay, I can punch. Good, good, good. And then I can, what else do we do? By the way, how do we, how do we make it do its, its thing with, oh, hang about, what was that? Ooh, it can, okay. So the way it doesn't get stuck on the floor is it can go up and also down. Okay, it's got jump jets that just charge up, and it does need power. How do we get it up to its its thing, by the way? Is it being... Okay, I think it's being grabbed right now. Because that's not good enough. Alright, what we need is for it to be a drill platform. Alternatively, depth. Okay, so no, that's nickel. Can't do that. Sorry about that. A thermal reactor. Probably could do, but feel like we don't need it. Jump jet upgrade. Again, nickel, so that's a no. Please tell me the drill doesn't need nickel. Please, for the love of God. Uh, drill. No, thank God. Especially as I assume I can only have two arms. So, okay. Grappling hook sounds badass. Yeah, I just need a bit more titanium, lithium, diamond, no trouble whatsoever. Then advanced wiring, even more titanium, lithium, benzene. Okay, pretty sure we can do all that immediately. Yep, I've even got benzene just sitting around doing nothing. So, there's my drill arm. We can make that right now. Good, 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 good. The other one just needs, yeah, a bit more titanium and advanced wiring. And obviously, I'm not not having a grappling arm. Alright, some scavenging later. Let's get both of them plugged in. After, of course, getting her to be nice and hot pink. And so, alright, here we go. Into the Iron John. Spectacular. So, uh, alright. Now, this thing does drilling. No, that's that's my hookshot. Right. So, that's drilling. Good. Good, good, good. And then I've got a hookshot. And that's... Okay. How does that... There! Oh, blimey! Hey, okay! Alright, chill out, buddy! That was definitely a good thing to get. Yes, that's gonna speed things up a lot. Given otherwise I'm just, you know, ambling along like a cocking idiot. Though, why is the range on this thing, FYI? So if I was to fire, like, all the way over there. Okay. Like, not that far. But it can get me some real... Oh, blimey. Okay, yeah. Gets me some real speed going on. So, okay. What I now need to do with this old girl is get hold of ion cubes. Best way to do that will be take her to Giant Gun Island, then use the teleporter to get down to the thermal plant, because, yeah, the thermal plant, that's got a supply of drillable cubes. Then again, actually, hang on. Isn't the better way to go to, yeah, the little teleporter that is next to Giant Gun Island, and then use that to get straight down to the old enclosure of the now dead sea emperor because the area next to that had another source of okay we'll see how many we can get out of the thermal plant that might well be enough and as a starting point yes we need to make it to giant gun island and this thing is uh, this thing's slow but getting the cyclops back is going to be slow too so all right just try and find something to hook on to how far away can we go? Like, uh, how about that over there? There we go. Oh, blimey. Okay, yep. Chill out. Then just boost. Boost up a little bit. Blimey heck. Okay. Right. So, boost up a bit. Then use this thing to get some real... No. Then then use this thing to... Okay. This is going to take a bit of practice. Though, actually, it looks like I can get a bit of momentum going on. Though... 
okay, you get stuck on stuff quite easily. But yeah, if I can just get a bit of momentum going on, then just go over there. Then just a bit of... Okay, I can get a bit of underwater web slinging going on here with a bit of practice anyway. Oh yeah, you can actually be going faster than anything else if you just get a good angle on the grappling. That is... That's lovely. And I hadn't even noticed till now, this comes with 900 depth by default. That's... That's pretty darn good. So yeah, just do a little like hop, do a thing, release, do a bit more of a boost. You can get a little bit of speed going on under the right circumstances. And okay, you, you can naff off. Me and you have never been friends. I will be glad to be leaving you dicks behind. Yeah, screw you. I'm going to flipping drill you. Also, I was about to say I really hope she could go uh, over water. Otherwise, this is all going to be a bit embarrassing. But it's fine. She can. We're under control. So, okay. In which case, best thing I could do would just be take her through the base straight to the teleporter. Which I assume she can go through, right? But yeah, the hookshot is hugely useful, though it does get stuck. She does seem to get stuck, like, a lot. Daunted about. And seriously, just, just get out of the... Get out of the... Get out of the water. Okay, use that. No, that was not what I wanted you to do. Okay, I'm struggling with... Seriously, what is it with this small ledge and destroying all of my cocking vehicles? There we go. Much better. Here we go. So just straight in here. Now, straight through the wibbly wibble. Now I'm further down than I should be, but I'm not going to be underwater, so it's going to be okay. This is just an environment where I can yap, Drill all of this. So, okay, just start doing some drilling. And how many are we getting? Because I do need four. Ideally, four would be the right way to go. So, just keep... Oh, this thing's got vehicle storage, lardy conking da. Right, does anyone know where the, um, the storage is? Because I wasn't aware there, um, there was... Oh, that's upgrades. Power cell. Storage. Oh, hang on. Storage at the back end. Oh my, that's a lot of ion cubes. Okay, we're fine. So now I just need to bring this old girl back home and we are golden. Brilliant. And you are not supposed to be in here. Get back in the ocean. Okay, um, aside from one small issue, which is I was trying to get to the elevator to, uh, you know, bring this old girl up nice and easy. One, elevator doesn't seem to work with the prawn suit. But two... The prawn suit doesn't seem to appreciate being, um, on land. Like at all. No, that was not the button I was going for. I can move myself to here. And then, oh, that's as, that's as far as I've ever gone. I seem to be getting stuck. I, I'm not sure whether I can, I can escape with the prawn suit at this point. Um, the prawn suit might just live here. Uh, because I can't fit through a door anymore. I've got stuck in a door. So, okay, this is the second vehicle in a cocking row I've managed to lose to this room. One sea moth that just ceased to exist, and one bastard giant Iron John suit, which is just refusing to fit through the door it could blatantly fit through. And yes, I didn't bring my propulsion gun. Again. Okay, the important thing is... I've got the ion cubes. So, all right. We've just lost one of every kind of vehicle, aside from the Cyclops, to this room. So, just don't bring the Cyclops here. I can do without the clean sweep, actually. So, okay, you just, um, you just live here now. Sorry about that. Okay, let's bring it all together here. Plasteel, nice and easy. Crystalline and cyanite, we should be swimming in that stuff. Yep, there's the four cyanites. I left all the crystalline sulfur in the cocking submarine, didn't I? I am precisely one shot of cocking marvellous. Okay, let's just get the bits done. We can do. All right, so ion power cell just needs the two ion batteries. Ion batteries, I just need some more gold because I am shy on gold right now. Yes, yeah, so I need, hang on. How many golds? Just, yeah, uh, two golds for two batteries. Uh, okay, nothing too much. We're fine. In fact, hang on, why do I think I needed four? In fact, the fastest option will be just to go and uh, harvest some more. So, okay, I'm going straight back to where I just was, but faster. Because this time I'm in the Tiny John 2, which we are not going to lose to the room that keeps eating vehicles. 
Okay, stay here, do not explode, get lost, get stuck, anything. Here we go, data drive by the thermal plant, there is the last component, and uh, I'm going to be swimming here in about two and a half minutes, when it turns out I'm going to need something else that's down here. It's going to happen, I just cocking no ants. Well, on the plus side, the Tony John 2 hasn't spontaneously exploded while underwater, so I'm going to call this a massive win. Okay, bit of scavenging later, we should now be ready to make all the batteries, because no, it is four ion cubes, I was wrong earlier, or rather, I was right the first time, because you need two batteries to make a power cell, so therefore, four batteries and four cubes. So, I've got the four batteries right there. To make them into power cells, I just need the silicon rubber. So, just knock together a little bit of that, no trouble at all. And now we should be able to make the double ion power cell. Spectacular. And I've already got the other stuff, so bloody hell, that one took some time to put together. Alright, little robot friends, as usual, you guys are doing the real work. And there she goes. The fuel reserves. So now I can actually, you know, get home, which is lovely. So I'm just going to get on with that. What's next for me, though? Okay, I don't know yet because the robots are still building. Okay, this feels like it might be the end. Neptune cockpit and... Oh, bloody hell. Right, shield generator. Probably easier to just build one of them from scratch. So... Enamel glass, plasteel, computer chip. Honestly, that one sounds pretty simple next to what we just did. And I've got just enough materials left over to get the plasteel and the enamel glass immediately. Ah, this is hilarious though. Yes, it looks like the modification station can only take a cyclops depth of one and make it into a two. In order to actually make the first, I think I need to actually go to the bloody cyclops. Yep, Cyclops upgrades live in their own category, so I've got to go and get the Cyclops in order to build the damn thing. But, Plasteel, Ruby times three, bare minimum, it is nice and easy. No, John, why are you misreading words that clearly says shield generator? So, okay, actually, much easier. Just go to the Cyclops and steal it, because we don't need it anymore, it's fine. So we're just going to scavenge the thing for parts. Good, I'm glad I actually read the words on the screen there. Otherwise, that could have all been a bit embarrassing down the line. Yep, that's it. I've now got everything I need aside from the shield generator. Which is definitely a shield generator and nothing else. So, alright. One final trip in which we can actually say goodbye to the Cyclops. Okay, back down to a thermal plant. Let's go get ourselves a shield generator. Oh, obviously, now I just find some nickel when I'm not even looking for it. Well, of course I do. No, seriously, I'm not amused by this. That is the second bit of nickel I have found by accident. Okay, not happy. Not happy about this one little bit game, but there she is. The Mighty John, the last time we're ever going to be seeing her. Presumably. Though, I did have a thought, actually, because look at this. All right, I've got parasites all over her, and uh, she's just going to sit here, like, polluting the local area. We should be tidying up after ourselves, so I did have myself a thought. How about, instead of just pulling out the, uh, here we go, uh, shield generator, which we need, uh, and uh, engine efficiency, because uh, why not? We can just, you know, take it with us. Uh, if I take out the depth module... This thing immediately starts taking crush damage. I just get out before it explodes, and there we go. I've tied it up after myself. So I'm taking all of this, and as soon as we take this, we run. All right, so hang on. Before we do that, before we do that, let's just say goodbye to the Cyclops, which isn't going to take long, because to be honest, it was a nightmare to cocky drive. All right, whole thing, complete absolute mess, constantly wouldn't fit where I wanted it to fit, Constantly wouldn't go where I wanted it to go. Utter nightmare. Giant pig of a vehicle. So, okay. See you in a hell, you utter bastards. So, as soon as we take this one. Go. Okay, go, 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 go. We need to We need to get out right now. We need to get out right now. It's going to start catching fire very soon. Out we go. Lovely. And now we just get to enjoy the fireworks. So, uh, yeah. It should start taking uh, damage. Uh, over time. Can I start seeing actually the, uh, yeah, the thing 
over here. There we go. I can actually see the, uh, yeah, status thing in there. And it appears to be not, not exploding. Do we know why it's not exploding? Kind of feel like it should be exploding. Oh, bloody hell, no, no, naff off. Naff off, buddy. I'm literally trying to leave right now. Okay, I'm working on it. For some reason, my submarine won't explode. No, seriously, why aren't you on fire? You're supposed to be... Yeah, it's taking... Wow, okay, it's taking damage very slowly. Like, so slowly. Okay, put it into mega mode. Right, power's almost out. Seriously, this thing is... Oh, here we go, we're taking... We're really taking small amounts of damage. How do we set it on fire? Does anybody know how we start any fires? Because I don't really know how to set it on fire. Uh, okay, there's... Oh, okay, well, we're starting to take some damage. This is... This is a good start. Just get the... Get the knife out. Just, just speed it along. Come on, I've got places to be, things to do. I'm gonna be honest. In my mind, this was gonna be more of a, you know, diving out of the ship as it exploded dramatically. You know, fireball behind me, etc. No, this old girl is just, um, really... Really cooking, slowly taking damage. Like, it's got a lot of bloody tankiness to it. And, oh, here we go. We got fire now. Yep, that's good. That's good right there. That might start speeding things up a little bit. Hopefully, you know, all these system failures will start compounding at some point. So, there we go. Got a nice fire. There we go. Lovely. Just, you know, burn it to the ground. No trouble. And we're still... Okay, that definitely feels like that's going down faster now. How about we step outside? I feel like now's a good time to step outside. It's all very much on fire. Dramatic music is playing. Just, you know, keep an eye on it. There we go. Just, you know, far enough back we don't get caught in the blast radius. And I think the parasites have abandoned it. Even they know the writing's on the wall. Marvelous. You know, I'm beginning to speculate. This thing might just be frozen in time if I'm not in it. Because I swear, suddenly it seems to be holding still, despite being on fire, to give you a chance to repair the thing. So, okay, I guess we need to, you know, step into the smoke to watch it explode. Okay, now it's definitely going down at a good rate. We just have to wait till the last possible second to- Oh, no, I'm on fire. This feels like the last possible second. When I myself am on fire, that's gotta be a good moment to GTFO. But come on, buddy. This is going to... Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Back off. Back off. I think she's about to go pop. The whole thing's definitely on fire now. Yeah? Come on. Let's have a nice big explosion. Let's see the series off with a bang, damn it. Oh, even the Mighty John's not even there anymore. The Mighty John's got a hole in it. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. 30 seconds. Oh, uh oh, hang on, hang on. No, I may have just made a mistake, actually. Because I don't have any oxygen. Because there was no oxygen in the... Uh oh. Okay, so this is this is all very embarrassing. Okay, I'm going down with the ship. Get back into the ship. We're going to make sure she cocking bursts. All right, before I suffocate, I want this ship to explode. Yes, I'm trying to make it. Oh, cocking hell. Okay, so I managed to die of lack of oxygen rather than... Well, this is fascinating. So that brings me back to, yes, the starting pod. Though... I've still got the... I've still got the shield generator. It's fine. Now, are we definitely sure the submarine has exploded, though? Because it should have exploded and... The Tiny John 2 still at the... Okay, so we've lost another vehicle. I'm just, you know, losing vehicles left, right, and centre today. It's fine. But this is it. The last component. The cockpit. Ooh, dramatic, exciting musical motif. And uh, that should be... I can't see because, you know, it's a fair way up, but that should be it, right? There's probably another component, a component I need my Cyclops for. I'm going to regret my decisions momentarily, I'm sure of it. Neptune 1 rocket online. All right, that's a pretty big musical climax right there. So that now just becomes the painting surface, so the Space John is now ready to go. Absolutely beautiful. So, all right. Uh, let's have a little bit of a Luxy in the ship. Not saying we're setting off yet, of course. There might be a bit of a last-minute wrap-up to do back in the base. Call the elevator. Okay, elevator is already uh, already here. 
Oh, no, this is good. This feels nice. We could have sprung for a faster elevator, by the way. Oh, from up here, we can see the ridiculous draw distance. There we go. Ridiculous dumb island number one and number two, both just hidden in a mysterious fog bank that makes no sense whatsoever. So here we go. Here's my ship. Just, you know, open that up. Lovely. And what do we have in here? We've got ourselves... Ooh. Auxiliary power. And a hydraulic system. And communications array. All right. We've got... Ooh, systems. We've got systems. We need to be flicking switches. This is all very dramatic. And then this is... Oh. That'll be power. Right there. That's nice. And then we have got ourselves... Uh, Okay, all the systems uh, need to be turned on. And, ooh. Time capsule. Okay, so... Oh! Those were actually other... Other players. Like, does this get saved? And then what I put in here becomes... Ooh. Okay. So I've got to choose what I leave for somebody in the future. Here we go. This feels like a nice sort of an angle to get the whole thing. Just put that away and in just a moment. That's kind of nice. But actually, you know what? The really nice angle would actually be, yeah, the end of my observatory. So how about we actually go to here. And uh, does that really look that interesting? This is a kind of fun angle, actually. This is a really fun angle. I'm going to say, actually, that could be really nice. That could be really nice right there. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What's coming with me versus what isn't? Because what we don't need is resources to something, something, something. No, 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 no. Utter nonsense. So let's just dump all the spare resources in the lockers. Apart from the nickel, I've grown attached to that. Eat up my cured fish just to uh, get rid of all of that. And honestly... I've got so many nutrient blocks, so let's take all the food that's going to keep with me. All right, that's coming with me. That's just lovely right there. Bring along a spare battery and consider what else we do and don't need. This is all, uh, yeah, a bit on the spare side. Take a fire extinguisher, okay? If something catches fire, you're going to be wanting that. Bring alien technology. Bring the tablet and one of the cubes with you. Because, uh, you know what? Somebody's uh, going to want to study them. That's all absolutely fine. We could probably leave the Cyclops stuff behind. No trouble there. And I'm going to take the toys with me. All right. They're coming with me to keep me company in space. You know what else is coming along too? I'm taking a, a sample of a Bulbo tree. Then again, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I build inside the rockets? And also, can I put up posters? Because the poster's important to me as well. No! Boo! I can't actually lay any, like, you know, furniture in here. This is unacceptable. All I want to do is take, you know, a Bulbo tree with me. Because I've grown attached to the flavour. So, alright. I'm just going to have to do with taking, yeah, this cutting. And it's going to go old, but hopefully I can revive it when the time is right. You know what? I've actually grown a bit attached to this base. I can't bear to scuttle it. I just want to leave it here. Alright? Maybe one day someone will come along and they'll find it and it will make their life much easier. That's not how it works, but I'd like to assume it is yes. So alright. Dump everything we don't need. And two crucial last minute things here, which is... Number one, we're deactivating the grav trap. Because it is probably impossibly cruel that I just leave uh, so many fish tied together next to each other where they can't move uh, for long periods of time. That's not cool, I'll admit. Next, deactivate 100% of markers. Uh, we don't need them anymore. And finally, of course, yeah, we're not leaving anyone trapped in captivity. So, uh, you guys, uh, cuttlefish inventory. Okay, hang on. What's filling up my cocking inventory? How much space does a bloody cuttlefish take up? I don't know. There we go. We got him. I suspect he is. Yes, he's four. So he's coming with me. All right. The cuttlefish is coming along as my new best friend. 
I'm not 100% sure how he's going to survive when I can't build, like, you know, an aquarium or whatever in the spaceship. But he's coming with me anyway. These two, though, they're being released. All right, you guys are just going back out into the world. Uh, sorry for keeping you in captivity, largely for my own amusement, but uh, enjoy the rest of your lives. And then we've just got to decide, yeah, what we're what we're leaving, because presumably we can put some stuff into the time capsule because other people have put stuff in for me. So, all right, what do I want to leave people? You know, what, if I can, I'm going to leave them a nickel because seriously, bloody nickels. So there we go. Goodbye, base. I really actually became quite uh, quite attached to you. You were, you were a good base. I enjoyed hanging out with you. But now it's time for me to naff off into space. Looks like a beautiful day for it. You know, nice clear skies. Uh, nice bright conditions. Uh, aside from the mysterious fog bank that makes no cocking sense, but whatever. Okay, time capsule. Let's go here. And uh, I think I like this one right here. I like this little one that, you know, looking at my base. I think that's really, really damn cool. And I'm going to let them know that the water isn't lovely and that they should run. Because bloody hell, this cocking planet. And, uh, okay, I can put six things in here. I think I'm going to leave them, like, nothing too advanced. Just like, you know, some extra bits and pieces to help them along. I'm going to give them... One bit of water. I'm going to give them two diamonds. Because that might help someone get up to laser cutter a bit faster. Okay. I'm going to leave them... Do I want to leave them a ruby? That might be a bit too much, to be honest. I'm going to leave them... I'm going to give them my knife. I think that's nice. Bit of water, a knife. Like, you know, that's not game-breaking or anything. It's just very convenient. And other than that, I think... That's fine. That's all I'm going to give them. I think that's A-OK. -okay. Though I could give them a toy. Could leave them, you know, a little model of uh, the Aurora. Or an Ion Cube. That'd be rather useful. Maybe a bit too useful, actually. Okay, this is, this is tricky. Okay, I will give them a snack as well. And go on. They can have the Aurora miniature. All right, they can have that so they get a toy. So... Two things that are useful, a bit of food and drink, a toy, and a thermoblade. Not too broken, I'd say. Just something, you know, a bit nice to help them along. Alright, so the time capture is now ready to go. How do we, how do we send it on its way? Yeah, that's fine. Ready. Do we? Yeah, I've, I've done prepping yet. I want to, like, boot it out into the ocean, please. Maybe it gets booted out when we take off, because I can't see a way to actually launch it. Well, that's all we got. It's time to start flicking some switches. So, uh, comms array, turn her on. Communications systems array active. Next up, hydraulics, whatever they are precisely. Something to do with, like, um, mechanics, I guess. Pressurizing hydraulics. Then power, or, like, secondary power or something. Auxiliary power unit online. All right, that's them all sorted out. So everything's looking, you know, nice and uh, shimmery and lovely. So just a couple more to go. Life support. That one's important. Yes, bloody hell. Make sure we don't leave that one off. Life support systems online. All right, that looks good. And finally, primary CPU. Primary computer systems active. All systems are go for lift off. Ooh. Okay. One important last thing, though. Can I put up my Keep Calm poster? Because I would like to put this up before we take off. That would have helped keep me calm, but whatever, right? Eh? Okay, I guess we can't do that. I'm just keeping it in my inventory. But this is it. We've done it. It's time to launch the cocking rocket. Bloody hell. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time capsule jettison.
ocean, approaching orbital debris field. It's okay. We got the everything proof shield. It's not okay. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. All right. I think we're okay. Everything fine, right? Because everything proof shields. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. I would really like it confirmed, by the way, that I didn't immediately crash land on, like, another planet i'd really appreciate that like you know one where it's nothing but i don't know toasters and i'm scared of toasters for some reason if we could confirm that that'd be great welcome home to all terror permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits oh that that wasn't what i was hoping for i mean i guess we we kind of made it home in a way but it sounds like I might be in a bit of trouble for, you know, using the resources I found to build a giant rocket rather than uh, all the rest of it. Honestly, I'll just go find a new planet. You're pretty bloody good at surviving by yourself, mate. I don't think you actually need this whole uh, Altera thing. Maybe just uh, start over. It's fine. But there you go. That's Subnautica and... Uh, oh, it's been wonderful. I mean, it's been horrifying and terrifying, and there's been moments I really haven't been having fun, but, you know, kind of by design, because no one designs that cocking, horrific crab squid thing without, you know, deliberately trying to horrify me. So that's fair. That's fine. I'm cool with that, mostly. I've had a lovely time. This is a really special game, isn't it? There's just something wonderful about it. And, of course, we'll be looking at Below Zero. Not, you know, immediately or anything, but... I've enjoyed this so much. It's been such a nice time. 100%. One day, we'll be going back to Below Zero. Because I've had a great time playing this. And uh, seriously, you guys have been loving it too. The views on this series have been really damn good. So uh, yeah, seems like we've got something that uh, I like doing. And you guys like watching. So, more of it to come at some point in the future. But, 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 not right now. I like to space things out, not put an original game right next to its follow-up, if I can avoid it. So, okay. Something else. Something else starting very, very soon indeed, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so very, very much for joining me on this journey. As you may have noticed, by the way, I have allowed myself to get a bit further ahead than I would normally do so because I was repeatedly told by people who played a lot of this game, discover it by yourself, do it your own way, figure it out, explore, don't get spoiled for anything. So I let myself record a bit ahead. So I am so sorry to those of you who know this game really well for all the stuff we didn't get to. Though we did build a prawn suit at the end, last cocking minute, and then I got it stuck in a door, but we did do it. So just in general, oh, this has been lovely. This has been a wonderful experience and one day, probably not even that far into the future, I will be wanting to dive in again, if you'll excuse the pun, to below zero because I wouldn't mind a bit more of this. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that too. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh shit. What did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.